Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make the Sudis cocktail. It was created by David Wondrick in 2010, and he is actually a cocktail historian. In fact, he's probably the best known cocktail historian from everything from the drinks, how to make them down to his paraphernalia. He's also the author of Imbibe, Punch, and the Oxford Companion to Spirits and Cocktails. Now, having said that, this is a sour style cocktail and I first found it on my friend Stefan Foisy.186 on Instagram. Now he's a friend of mine who does all sorts of cocktails and he pointed me to a couple of other websites that I looked at and then I kept going and I still couldn't find actually imprint where this cocktail is from. So if your name is David Wonder, please let me know in the comments down below exactly where to find this. Now having said that again, it's really easy. And we're going to start this cocktail with fresh fruit. Now, it's a shaken cocktail, so grab yourself your shaking glass or your Boston tin, and we're going to start with raspberries. And we need between four to six raspberries, but mine are pretty big, so we're just gonna throw five in. We're going to follow that up with two different sweetening agents. The first is a one-to-one -one simple syrup. That's one part water, one part sugar, heat it up till it goes clear, and store it for later use. But you only need a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Our next sweetening agent is Orgeat. Now, Orgeat is an almond syrup, and you can use blanched almonds, which will give you a fantastic light colored syrup, or you can use unblanched with the skin still on that'll give you a nice dark color. But we're going to use the same amount of a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. We're now gonna follow up with our souring agent. In this case, we're using lemon juice. We don't need a lot. What you want to do is grab your lemon, give it a small roll, and what we'll do is we will cut this in half and measure out half an ounce or 15 mils and pour it into the glass. Next, we need a foaming agent. And for that, we're going to use a little bit of egg white. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you actually break it, you break it flat. That way, when you open it up, you don't get any chunks of uh, eggshell inside. Oh. Now we're going to make sure that we put this off to the side and we save this for later so we can actually make something with it. Make sure you always use all of your ingredients for something, don't waste a thing. But we're going to go next to our main spirit and for this I'm using Covassier Cognac. It is a VS and if you can't get Cognac or you find it a little bit overly priced, get yourself a good brandy. Uh, do the same thing, however, only Cognac can be made in Cognac, which is actually a region in France. So having said that, we need a full pour of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now I'll admit that this is not the most appetizing thing that I've ever seen at this moment, but bear with me, it's gonna be gorgeous when it's all said and done. Now to get that frothy head, there's a couple of different techniques you could use. You could wet shake it, then dry shake it. You can dry shake it, then wet shake it, or you could shake the crap out of it with some ice. So what we are going to do is we are going to dry shake this first. And when I mean dry shake, we're gonna shake it with no ice and you have to shake it hard. Now, one of the things that you'll wanna do, pop that back off slightly because you're gonna get a little bit of gas that's going to happen in the process. So you need to hold on to this really hard. So make sure you've got a really good seal and shake the crap out of it. And you wanna shake it really hard because what's gonna happen is it's going to come apart and it'll begin to foam and emulsify that egg, which is really what you wanna do. Now, just dry your hands off. Now we're going to do the wet shake, which is to shake it with some ice. And you don't need a lot of ice, just three or four chunks of big ice, just pour that in. Because at this point, all we're doing is cooling it and giving it a little bit of dilution. And we're going to shake this in a back and forth motion. That way, we get full movement of the liquids and the ice going back to forth. This is really the only piece of technique that we're gonna use for this, like so. Okay. Whew. After you've given it a nice hard shake, and I mean hard shake, so hard in fact you're gonna be breathing like me having a heart attack here, we're going to serve this into an up style. And what we'll do to make sure that the foam is nice and tight and solid is we're going to fine strain it. It's gonna also have another benefit. It'll keep out the raspberry chunks and any of the meniscus from the actual egg white. And 
this looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, one of the things you will notice is when everything sort of gets starts to get a little stuck in there, it's gonna take you a little bit just to get everything through the uh, screen. Put that off to the side. Now, the other thing you're going to notice is that you're going to separate pretty quickly and get a nice level of foam. Now, we are gonna garnish this with some raspberries placed on top. And this is a Cerise cocktail. David Wondrick looks fantastic if I do say so myself. Now let's give it a try. Mm. Oh. <laughs> that is really, really good. You get the raspberry, you get that cognac in there, but it's not strong, it's beautifully muted, and it's leveled absolutely gorgeously with the lemon and the actual almond. It is fantastic with that raspberry loud and proud. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.